What's going on guys? Slayed by Blade here. Hopefully you guys are having a good one and welcome to a not so normal top 5 episode because there is no top 5 today. I will be doing one again next week. We'll be back with week 180 but today is actually a very special announcement because today I'm going to start accepting submissions for the week 200 community montage. Some of you guys probably know what I'm talking about and some of you don't but basically every 50 weeks of my top 5 I do a big community montage and we're coming up on another 50 weeks now leading up to week 200 so I'm going to be starting accepting submissions today and if you don't know how to submit that's fine because now I'm going to lay down the ground rules. So the first rule is pretty self-explanatory. I only want knife-only feeds. I don't want any other kinds of clips. I just want knife feeds from any COD. This is a multi-COD community montage, so be sure to play any game that you like and send those in as long as they are a knife-only feed. As far as the quality of the clips goes, you guys just need to make sure that they're 59.94 FPS. Make sure you disable resample if you're rendering in Vegas. Just make sure that they are high quality clips because if you record it on your phone or something, it's not going to make it in. So make sure you get a friend to record it if you can't on like an Elgato or a PVR. Make sure it's a high quality clip. And once you have your clip recorded and you know it's in a solid quality, the FPS is good and all that good stuff, you need to upload it to Mediafire or Dropbox or anywhere where you can get a download link to put in the Google Doc in the description that will take me to the raw clip so I can download it. I'm not accepting YouTube links. If you send me a YouTube link, you are not going to be in this video, bottom line. So make sure you give me a link that I can use to download the raw file. And like I said, you guys are going to want to put the link to your clip in the Google Doc down below and be sure to fill out the rest of that as well. It's going to ask you for a link to your clip, the name that you go by on whatever console you play on, and of course a link to your YouTube channel. I ask you guys that for two reasons. One, so I can put you in the description and give you credit where it's due. And also, I do try to put a name tag on your clip as it's in the montage so you can click on your name during the montage and it'll take you to your channel. Just trying to give you guys as much exposure as you can hope to get from something like this and of course show you guys that I do appreciate you submitting. So definitely be sure to fill it out correctly. And of course, if you have a clip from a previous episode of the Top 5, feel free to submit it. I'm not saying that they can't be older clips. I definitely want to get some of those crazy clips that we had in previous episodes in as well. So long as they weren't in a previous community montage, it should be fine, as long as they also fall under the other requirements as well. And uh, honestly, I'm not going to set any other kind of standards for these clips. If you have a clip you think deserves to make it, feel free to send it in. I'm not going to set any kind of like kill amount or anything like that. I mean, it would be awesome to get like a closer only community montage going but I really don't know what to expect until I start seeing some submissions so seriously if you think it deserves to make it feel free to send it in. And finally the deadline for submissions is March 13th or the day that week 190 is uploaded which is 10 weeks from today so I think that's plenty of time to collect a ton of crazy clips but that's not really my concern. If you guys remember the preparation for the previous community montage the editing process was where all the issues lie because a lot of my editors bailed. I had three of the four original editors drop the project some of them not even taking the time to let me know that they weren't doing it anymore and with like a week left so that was unfortunate but I have 10 weeks of editing time laid out this time so plenty of room for error even though I hopefully won't have any of that because I have a lot of trustworthy people in mind to actually take on the editing process so hopefully that'll all work out but I'm not worried about that because we actually have a ton of editing time this time around so hopefully everything's gonna work out but I'll worry about that you guys go ahead and worry about hitting crazy clips and submitting all of those and of course if you have any questions about the submission process just ask in the comment section below and I'll let you know thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys in week 180 next week you guys take it easy peace